Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Frikingly Website Builder. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering how do you exactly start using the platform, which in this case is going to be Strikingly. Well, using the platform itself is fairly easy because of how it is actually built up. So creating a website is, again, pretty easy here. So first things first is you want to go to the official website. And in order for you to create your website here, you need to first create your account. So the first thing that you'll be seeing on their official website is, in this case, the first name that you need to enter here, the email and the password that you want to use for uh, your account. So once you enter all the details, just click on Get Started, it's free. Now, in the following pages, they might ask you a few questions about yourself, like, for example, what's your business, how big is your company, and all of those information. But once you've done that, you should be able to see your dashboard. Now, in my case, I already have my account here, so I could just need uh, just need to click on log in at the top right here, and this can provide all the details that includes our email and password. Now, once you've created your account, this will re automatically redirect you to the uh, website creation process. It will guide you through, through the whole process, but just in case, if you go to your dashboard here, you should see the My Site section. Go ahead and click on it and just click on Create New Site to redirect yourself into the account or in this case, the website creation process. Now, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to choose a template that you want to use for your uh, website. Now, by the way, you could also generate a site here instantly. You just need to provide your site title or your business organization name here, and you could go and generate your own. But in my case, maybe I want to choose one of the following templates that we have right now. Now, there are going to be different categories that you could choose from, like, for example, online store, businesses, landing pages, membership and courses, creative organization events, personal, and a lot more. So maybe I want to use this template here. You can go and click on view example here if you want to view an example of a website using this specific template. Or if you want to use this, just click on start editing and this will use that template and apply it on your web page. As you can see, it's going to say, hi there, welcome to Striking the Editor. I recommend you taking super quick tour here for, to get the ropes. So you can go and click on take tour here, which in this case, this will actually guide you through the whole of uh, features that Strikingly has to offer. But for now, let's go and click on not tanks. But if you want to take that, you can go and click on take tour. Now in here, there are going to be a few uh, other things that you could access. So first things first is how do we navigate it? So at the dev side here, we have a few things. So for example, we have our section, which in this case, are the sections that you could access on your website. Now, as you can see, we have home, we have about, we have features, and also another feature section and a pre-order section. Now, the dev side, this will uh, act, it, uh, define or show you how exactly your website is built. So, we have our home, so you can go and click on it. As you can see, you should be able to see it. Now, if you want to change a few things here, you can go and click on layout. And this will change the layout for your, um, in this case, this section here. Now, there are going to be variations that you could choose from. As you can see, it's changing uh, in here. You go and choose whatever you want. Now, if you want to add something, like if you want to add a subtitle, you could go ahead and click on that section. And you could, you could go ahead and add a bold or make it bold, italic, underline, or even add links if you want to. And even change some formatting here, make it bulleted and color and a lot more. So if you click on a very specific element here, you have the option to edit them. Like for example, we have this button here, go ahead and click on it. You can change the text, the link to the URL, whatever you want to link this to. And if you want to open this in new tab, you can go and do that. But what you need to do, you can go and just click on save here. And if you want to add another button, just click on add button. Now, if you want to edit this, you can go and edit it, click on remove if you want to remove that. Now, if you want to change your background, you can go and click on background at the top right here, change your photo. Like, for example, which uh, text, the text formatting, the background itself. So you could choose this one. So maybe I want to choose this one. But if you want to see more, click on more. You choose one of the following uh, photos that you could uh, use here. Now, you could also upload your own. So you can click on upload new image here. Use that for your background. Also have your uploaded image if you want to use an already existing image that you uploaded before. Now, if you want to access other sections or other uh, settings, 
for your section here, you could go ahead and click on settings and you could basically change a few things. Like for example, if you want to use the app store, uh, layout, the sign up layout here. So there are going to be different layouts that you choose from. Now you could also choose the, uh, or define the content align here. You can make it center or this one or this way. So if you want to align them, but I want to use the center align here. And also if you want to add, change the top space here, as you can see, you can go ahead and click on it to change how many, how much space you have on the top side. Now you also do that. You could also do that at the bottom space here. Now, if you want to change your view here to a drag and drop one, you could go ahead and click on it and it'll change your view and you can add other elements here that was not defined before. Now, if you want to reset this, just click on reset the top right here, click on okay. In this case, that will reset your design, but yeah. So in this case, you go ahead and do whatever you want to do here. Add whatever design if you want to add images, if you want to. Now, in this case at the top left, we also have styles. If you want to change the overall look of your website, like for example, if you want to change your template, if you want to change your color scheme, your fonts, your header and navigation, if you want to edit them. So by default, this is what the design that we have right now. This will be from our template that we just used. But if you want to change the font size, depending on the width, you can go ahead and do that in here. Now, you also have the option to change the default look of our buttons, our sections, the, uh, the header and uh, again, header and navigation and text and size, color and some animation. So basically, this is just the default uh, design that we have on our website. Now we also have our store here, which allows you to view your products. So if this is an online store, you could add your products here, add new products, import products, and you can even use or add product categories, uh, categories, shipping, taxes, product reviews, and store settings here if you want to change those. Like for example, if you want to set up your payment methods or payment settings here. But yeah, now we also have the audience here which in this case allows you to manage how your audience interact with your website. Like we have the live chat functionality, memberships, if you want to use memberships into your website. We also have email automation. So if you want to uh, trigger certain emails for specific scenarios, you can go and set that, uh, set that up in here. But in order for you to use it, you need to use or have an upgrade plan here or a pro plan in order for you to use it. Now we also have our settings here. So in this case, this actually allows you to edit your domains. Like for example, you want to use a custom domain that you bought. This is how you add them. You also have your basic information about your website, the uh, accept payments method here. So you could basically enable a few things, even change the store currency and also email notifications. If you want to do that, we have mobile actions as well, header and footer and multiple pages if you want to allow it. So you can add up to five pages on a single site. So you need to upgrade to a pro plan in order for you to add up to like 100 pages, which is quite excessive if you just want a simple website. Now, if you want to uh, activate this one, just click on activate multiple pages in order for you to do so. Now, in this case, uh, let's go and go back here. Now, if you want to add another page here, you can go and click on add another page. In this case, you need to upgrade to a pro plan to unlock pages, or you could continue to add up to five pages if you want to, like what we discussed before. Now, you might be asking what are the elements that you could edit here? So this actually depends on uh, what's your target. So again, if you're just using the default view here, uh, the editing can be kind of limited, but if you choose the drag and drop option, this will change a lot for you. So again, let's go and ch uh, choose drag and drop here. You can add other elements that was not specified, but if you're just using the default or uh, UI or the editor here, uh, it be kind of uh, kind of by default or the elements can be default. So you won't be able to add uh, other elements, but if you use drag and drop here, this will expand your horizons. But yeah, so at the bottom left, you also have the option to switch your view here. So the great thing about strikingly here is the automatic adjust how your website will look in mobile. So you don't have to worry much about it. So you might do some, um, this case, some tweaks here, here and there, but generally speaking, it's, uh, the, the website itself looks good as you can see right now, since we j just use a template for it, but yeah, so you could also edit this one if you want to. So in this case, you can remove them if you want access a few things uh, for someone want to edit this text here go ahead and click on it and edit it if you if you want to now if you want to upgrade to a pro plan you can go ahead and click on upgrade to pro at the bottom left here and you could go ahead and proceed with the payment choose your plan and you should be good but yeah 
So in this case, uh, obviously there are or there are a lot of features that you, that you could access here for Strikingly, but those are the basics that you need to know here to get started on Strikingly. But Strikingly here, but in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.